29 September 2016. Okay, this video is an educational video to uh, show the, the procedures or the SOP standard operating procedure before doing a dental work on a very old dog, 12 years old Jack Russell here. Now, the best practice is for the, for the vet to recommend a pre-anesthetic check by doing a blood test one week before the the, the anesthesia if, if not then uh, just before the anesthesia now so one week before anesthesia i advise the owner to come for vet ex health physical examination which we have a list of a checklist to check all the the general physical examination and uh, it's confirmed that this dog which uh, we have not seen for a few years has anal sacralitis and ear infections so this is the physical examination and this is the blood test done one week before before this uh, dental work because the reason for doing one week is because routinely and the best practice is prescribe oral antibiotics to clear the mouth of bacteria and uh, so then when we do it one week later the mouth is actually clear of bacteria and so that's the reason that the whole thing is done one week before but uh, many owners they just want to do it on the same day but which is not not recommended especially if the dog has very bad teeth and a bad breath so this is the SOP so this is pre so now today is the day of operation so we still do the standard checkup physical examination especially weigh the dog and also check the respiratory rate, the lungs and the heart and abdomen and then the pulse and also the temperature. So this dog is actually quite uh, healthy in the sense that there's no loss of appetite or, or drinking more or less and physically you can see this is a uh, because my brain is okay, no diarrhea vomiting. So we are going to do operation today. The, the ears have been cleaned, and uh, so I'm using dormitor plus ketamine, and uh, and then the isoflurane here, isoflurane gas, and uh, another procedure which we have to do is which I always get my vets to do is the topio anesthesia and surgery record. Now, the reason for getting this record done is because we need to have a proper procedure in our work otherwise especially if there's something wrong litigation or investigation or or government uh, complaint then the, the the authorities will want to know whether there's a really a proper record keeping and so if we, if we skip on this if there's nothing wrong of course uh, nobody bothers number one there is a death, death on anesthesia or some some misunderstanding. The records will show what you have done or you have not done, like what sedation you have given, how long, and uh, and so this shows your your standard of care. So your standard of care is poor. Of course, you don't uh, have any of this uh, anesthesia and surgery record. You just do it and then finish it off. But uh, nowadays, because people like to sue in a, in a developed country, so it's best keep proper records, recommend best practice, which is actually physical examination, blood test, pre-anesthetic, oral antibiotics for the dental uh, extraction for the very old dog. And then one week later, the anesthesia record and surgery record, which I'm going to do now. 11.21 a.m. I intubated the dog which is three minutes after the IV dormitor plus ketamine at 50% diluted with normal saline and now we are doing the the, the dental dental work so we try to extract any rotten teeth first and uh, the dog is at uh, 2% maintenance which is okay 2% isoflurane flow rate about 2 or 3 Little per minute oxygen now. You can see that this one is definitely very bad. The molar, the molar is loose actually. So we slowly just extract it out, loosen it. 
loosen it. Yeah. There's no more bad breath or very little due to the antibiotics being given for one week. It's a stop stomachil. Now, now you can see this is only 50% of the sedation for the old dog. For the young dog, I will give, of course, 100%. Now, so we check every teeth, any, any loose teeth first. And uh, I will say that the premolar is loose. Now, to, to, to do this side, the person has to go that side. Normally, they should, they should, they should face, the, face the root here. Yeah. So this is the commencement of the dental, starting at 11.21. So it's already five minutes gone, as you can see. Now, so it depends on how, how uh, fast the operator does. It could be 10 minutes, you can finish everything, or it could be 30 minutes. So uh, all depends. The old dog now has broken up after dental scaling. I'm going to bring back. Come. I'm going to take out. Have a look at his teeth. Mm. From dental scaling, extracting of four teeth at the back. Uh, just have a look at his mouth. Huh? Yeah, he won't bite. Just uh, so if they can, they will, they will, they will do the what? Uh, the, the brushing. Huh? If they can brush uh, this side. Uh. The back teeth is taken out. The four back teeth, upper and lower, but can't see from here. Yeah. Okay, can go when you come. It's September 29, 2016. The Jack Russell, 12 years old, had been anesthetized, intubated, and four, four teeth have been extracted, as you can see. This is the anesthetic and surgery record. Now, the, we find this drug to be very, very safe. Now, we talk about ketamine which in this case I gave 40% because he's 12 years old. After that, after, in, after the injection at 11.18, then to, with three minutes, we could intubate him without having to gas, to add gas, to top up gas. After intubation, then we proceed to dental scaling and extraction. As you can see, that a uh, proper anesthetic record has been kept and uh, the anesthetist or the assistant has to make sure the bare minimum isofluorine gas and oxygen is given in the sense that uh, you don't want to kill the old dog and uh, we start at 2% and as you can see based on the observation of the dog's reflexes it get reduced and you can see that uh, overall it's never reached above two percent for a good vet assistant yeah who, who uh, knows how to do anesthesia here and uh, normally we use the open method but i would prefer to close if the anesthetic the assistant is very good you know then normally they use open circuit or half open and uh, and as you can see, in this case, it's mainly open circuit or half open, and uh, you achieve very good energies here, and uh, there was no interruption and no pain. Even then, the whole process, just to do scaling and extract four teeth, it takes around 39 minutes from the time of induction, the IV injection of the metoplasketamine to the completion of dental. So you can see that uh, the process takes a long time, it depends on the scaling of the dog by the assistant or by the vet. Now, the dog is okay, he's, he's awake and you saw it in the in earlier video before this that uh, he has woken up. I have given antecedent as well. Although he appears to be on the way awake, I just give antecedent to reverse the dormitory effect. Of course, there is a drip, the drip, and then the painkiller antibiotics, 
and uh, the advice to give soft food for the first four days painkillers about seven days top by your vets dental skilling in a very old 12 year old Jack Russell Singapore this is the anesthetic and surgery records